Hey there, Tom Romeo from Crestron here to demonstrate how to use the X panel uh, within Fusion. So you see we've got an X panel that's using HTTPS and you see it's not secure. And it's not secure for two reasons. The reason number one is uh, the certificate for that X panel has not been uh, trusted on this computer. Reason number two is you can never use HTTPS by IP address. Okay, so we're going to rectify this uh, in two steps. First step is, as you can see, I just copied the X, the uh, certificate to my local computer. And now I'm going to import it into the Chrome store. Okay, um, Chrome has its own certificate store, so it does not use the Microsoft certificate store uh, that is used for Edge and IE. Uh, Mozilla also uses its own store, and so does uh, Apple for uh, Safari. But we're not going to play with Safari here because there's no Safari on Windows in, at this stage in the game. So you see I'm just importing the certificate uh, step by step. I did it into my personal store and now I'm going to import it into the trusted root authority store within Chrome. After I do that, I'm going to do the same exact thing uh, in the Microsoft stores. And then after I do that, I'm going to modify my hosts file because the, the DNS name for this particular certificate is not a real DNS name uh, on the Crestron domain. Um, it's not part of the Crestron domain, and um, since it's a self-signed certificate, you know, we're, we're just basically troubleshooting and testing. So you see I'm importing it now into my personal store for Windows. After I do that, I can then copy it to the other locations, but in order to copy it, I have to know the name on that certificate. So after I do this, we're going to investigate that certificate a little bit because I don't know which one it is on that list. So as you can see, it is the CP4 certificate. So now we're going to look at it. You're going to see inside there, see it's got a valid date range. We're going to open up uh, one of these nodes and you see there's the DNS name. And that is the name that we're going to store and associate to the IP address inside the hosts file. Once we've done that, uh, then we can use um, the host name to get to that X panel rather than the IP address. And you'll see right away in Chrome, but just by changing it to host name, because it's a trusted certificate, you see how it doesn't say not secure anymore. We have the lock, so it's good now. So now the next part of this demonstration is going to be an edge like I said, I don't want to um, clear the cache in Chrome, and I'm not sure if I have to clear the cache in order to, to do the rest of this demonstration. So I'm going to paste in the URL for that uh, Fusion installation into Edge. And the X panel is already stored on one of my rooms in this particular uh, Fusion installation and it's by IP address. So we're going to demonstrate the problem and then we're gonna show you how to solve the problem. So first you see the room and you see I'm, I'm secure, right? You see I'm using a proper uh, Crestron certificate, but now, now, that I, now that I try to go through the X panel, see it's by IP address, watch what happens. If I paste that into another tab, I get the whole not secure error message like we were getting, but when I go back to Fusion, watch what happens. Now, you see Fusion also has the same error. So what I'm going to do is go into Setup and change out the X panel URL to the new one that goes by hostname. And now that I've done that, watch when I go back to monitoring, you see I still have the error. It says not secure. No matter what tab I go to, that error won't go away until I actually close uh, Edge. So I'm going to completely close Edge. 
and then go right back in and you see there's my host file I'm going to go right back in and now you're going to see everything load perfectly and I'm hoping that this little video uh, demonstration actually helps everybody just in case we forget because I forget all the time I'm like oh did you save the certificate oh yeah but I forgot we're going by IP address. I forget it all the time. Uh, and I, you know, I can't impose my forgetfulness on everybody else. But I, by the same token, if I know I forget it, I'm going to remind everybody else that, oh, did you do that? There it is. You see, now I'm in and I have the lock. And that is the demonstration that I wanted to show you.